Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will try to see how to implement the effects in the Angular in GRX. We will try to see. In the previous video, we have seen what is an effect, why we need to use the effect, we have seen. Now, how to define the effect, we will try to see in this video. Now, if you if you are coming first time, if you are learning first time, when you are first learning about this NGRS effects, many people find it very difficult on these complex observation, observable streams and multiple chaining of RxJS operators. Why? Because in this NGRS effects, we will be using the complex observ observable streams and also the chaining of the RxJS operators we will be trying, we will be using here. Here now with this presentation, what we will try to look is, we will, we will take a look at bit by bit bit by bit and also the piece piece by piece of implementing the ngrx effects so now in this presentation we will try to see each step by step how to implement the ngrx effects we will try to see in this video so we already know that why we are using this ngrx effects why we are using so in order to do the side effects so in order to perform the manage the side effects in order to managing our side effects we will be using this ngrx effects now what is the side effect we are trying to use that is nothing but the http HTTP, HTTP calls for, uh, for accessing the HTTP calls, we will be using this NGRX side effects. Now, here defining an effect. So, how you will define an effect? So, how you will create an effect? So, first, uh, after for creating an effect, effect is nothing but it is creating a service only. So, how you will create the service? You will create an effect also. In fact, it is just like any other Angular service defined with an adrate injectable decorator at the top of a class. So, that means it is just like an Angular service. Just we how we define the uh, Angular service. So uh, by keeping at the rate injectable decorator at the top of the class, we will use like that only. So here, if you try to see, this is the so import injectable. We are Im importing the injectable and at the rate injectable export class. And the name what we will be trying to write, uh, write is the, the, that is nothing but the, instead of writing the post service or login service, we will be using this auth effects. Okay. So it is just a service only. Now if you try to go here into the next step. Now this is the injecting actions into the ngrx effects if you try to see here now in this is a service okay login effects or auth effects what this is a service and in this constructor we are injecting actions okay these actions will come from the import from the ngrx effects so this is nothing but the what are all the actions that are dispatched dispatched in the application will come here okay into this variable and in the and the service whatever the service you want to inject you can inject it here login service Okay, the constructor will inject what are all the dependencies necessary for our effects we will be injecting. So, just like the service only. But here one, one main thing what we will be injecting is the actions. So, actions dollar. I have kept the dollar. Why? Because it is an observable. Okay. Now, so as uh, so for notation for observable as for the notation I kept the dollar. So, there is it is not a mandatory to keep the dollar at the, at the end of the variable. So, for the notation thing. So, in order to know that it is an observable variable. So, I kept the dollar at the, at the end. So commonly in the, in the documentation, in the outside external documentation, you will be able to see this dollar variable so that by seeing the dollar variable, you can assume that it is an observable. Okay. So this is how you, you will be injecting in the constructor, just like the service. You need to know these actions. We need to import these actions, which should be imported from the NGRX effects. Now, if you go here, so we will be creating a variable load post dollar. This is an, this is, this variable is also, this property is also an object okay it's, it's observable sorry it's an observable and you will be having create effect okay this should be imported from the ngrx effects it's, it will be automatically injected and in this create effect you will be returning an observable so this returns an observable and here this dot actions dollar this dot actions dollar is nothing but the injected action from the ngrx effect whatever the action you have injected from the constructor so that is nothing but we are using here this dot actions dollar and we are you this that actions dollar as I already told you that it is an observable so we can apply the RxJS operators so RxJS operators how we can apply using the pipe operator so using the pipe operator I have filtered the off type off type is a special type of operator which is present in the ngrx effects so we will be using this off type and we 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 need to filter the action particular action why because whatever the action dispatched in our application it will execute this create effect and using these actions in those actions we will filter the action whatever the action we need now in this way we are writing this filter for the action right so login right so what i can write so here i can filter of this login action so whoever calls that login action this effect will trigger automatically 
and here off type you can see that to filter all the actions with the login action whenever the login action is dispatched so whoever will the login action is dispatched the effect will execute by passing through this filter okay this effect will execute so this effect will be filtered or otherwise if any other action is dispatched means here it will be filtered and this effect will not be executed further you need to understand this one so we are filtering the particular action now if you go here after whenever the login action is dispatched then it is passed through the merge map so when this off type off type operator is whenever this login action is dispatched then it is passed through the merge map merge map is nothing but what we can say is merge maps merge map over each merge maps what it will do it will map over each emitted action and calls okay where each emitted action and calls the angular which returns the observable and then merges this observable into a single observable or a stream so this means that means this merge map will take the action of that particular action whatever the action which is filtered and in this merge map we will call a service whatever the service we want we can call the service here and this passes merge map will passes the will return the again another observable which which will be converted into this observable okay so this login service dot login dot pipe of map and we will be dispatching that load post success okay now we are dispatching the load post success of data okay now here sorry here i have written the load post success how actually you can write it load login success something like that okay now here if i go into the next thing so this is how the entire uh, entire fx will look like so how the effect is looking like so first we need to create a service or service like that we need to create an effect and here you will be having the constructor which in, which imports the actions it should be imported from the action in grxfx and the service whatever the service you are going to call you will be calling the service and here we will be using this check auth so check auth is nothing but the variable so how we have created and here you are using the create effect in this create effect we need to understand that we need to return this one and this dot actions dot pipe first we need to use this off type filter the particular action and next you need to use the merge map of this action so so that we will be calling the service whatever the service we want and we can we can emit the observable so this is how we will be declaring the ngrx effect so if if here it is fails it is another scenario if it is success means we will be we will be sending the login success if it is fails means we, we will send we will see it in the another video so first we will talk about the success uh, success scenario so this is how we will be doing the ngrx fx so now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to see the implementation of this ngrx fx how we can implement the ngrx fx of using this login service so we have already the email and password with us and we need to send it to the login service and this login service will calls the login api so that if it is success means it will return us the api so we will call the login success and we will store that api token token and everything details in the reducer okay let's try to see that in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.